Welcome back. Not used to being on the rooftop to talk to you, Mike. But it feel, I have my hair <laughs> back, lovely. so there isn't the breeze. Morning to you. It looks lovely. How are you? <laughs> Thanks. How was your weekend? It was fine. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Get any, yeah. up to anything crazy or, you know, your no, wild apple ways? No, 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 no. It's just, <laughs> it's, I wish I could say, yes, we did this, this, and no, yeah. we didn't do much of anything. You know what? It is what it is. This is the time to just, just relax and enjoy the family, right? Um, working on small little projects around the house, doing stuff like that, you know, went for, for a drive on Saturday and didn't do uh, much otherwise. It's, did see a lot of traffic, though, I will say that. Oh, my gosh. We'll talk to Stefan about that in just a yeah. second because traffic, you're right, it is significantly yeah. higher, the volume. I think a lot of people were getting out into, you know, just going yep. for drives out of the city and doing that kind of thing. A hundred percent. These trends about, uh, uh, you know, real estate sales in cottage country and mm -hmm. Halliburton and these things that uh, are starting to ramp up a little bit. You're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, we want to yeah. start things off with retail, though, because Walmart, yeah. this is your top story this morning. Yeah, they just announced a three and a half billion, with a B, billion dollar uh, renovation plan for their Canadian operations, Melanie. Uh, this is a five year program that Walmart Canada will basically be putting more money into what has been the fastest growing segment of the business with the COVID 19 pandemic e commerce. They are looking at uh, building new distribution centers, uh, one in Vaughan, which uh, according to the company will open in 2024. I mean, this is again, it's a five year program, so it doesn't just happen overnight, but at the same time, uh, lots of money being spent by Walmart Canada in a distribution center in Vaughan, another one in Surrey, BC. All of this to accelerate e-commerce. Uh, that's one aspect of this, but in the stores themselves, a lot more technology. Uh, less, uh, fewer touch points. You know, what have we been talking mm -hmm. about? Don't touch anything when you're uh, shopping as much as maybe you did before. So, you know, digitization is a key to this. Uh, jobs being created in the process. Walmart uh, has seen huge growth in its operations, as has Amazon. Let's, you know, face it that, you know, the, the changing landscape of retail has been accelerated to the nth degree through the COVID-19 pandemic and Walmart putting a lot of money into its Canadian operations here over the next number of years. Yeah, everyone's going to need to do that shift too. Uh, vaccine yep. hopes that everyone's talking about when will we see an end and even if we do have a vaccine, it's not the be all and end all too. No, and it's and it's going to take time, right, mm -hmm. to get the, the number of doses required uh, when and if these vaccine trials, which are in stage two, set to move to stage three, uh, you know, it takes months. Having said that, uh, things today from technology and medical advances are much more accelerated than they have ever been. I mean, the fact that they're already at these stage two trials for a COVID-19 vaccine is remarkable in and of itself. It used to be, you know, multiple years. Now it's months. But uh, AstraZeneca and Oxford University are today expected to uh, give their latest update. They were uh, at the forefront of this. It'll be reported in the Lancet Medical Journal uh, out of the UK, and that's expected to be a little later on this afternoon. So that combined with the Moderna study, the Medicago study, uh, Medicango study out of Montreal, you know, it's, it's a positive, we'll take it. You know, certainly the market has, and we're seeing that play itself out a little bit this morning. Yeah, there, there's a lot of money in this and a lot of hope in Huge. this as well, I should say. Uh, finally, yeah. we only have time for one more story, but let's talk about Disney yeah. and uh, a change in their strategy here. Yeah, and this uh, looks to be tied to um, a number of big companies pulling back their ad spending in a boycott format um, related to Facebook and Facebook's controlling of hate speech. Um, you know, this had been a thing that uh, had been developing over the past several weeks with uh, corporate America saying, OK, uh, you know, money talks and Facebook, you have to uh, change your algorithms to some extent. And now Disney reportedly has pulled back on its ad spend. And it was uh, the biggest corporate spend spender on Facebook on the platform in the first half of this year. So it is not insignificant. We're trying to determine how much money we're actually talking about here. But anyway, we have this, uh, you know, again, pushback when we're talking about social media, where the money goes, who controls what and uh, how everything is done from a technological uh, standpoint. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how investors certainly react to that today. Absolutely, Mike. As always, a pleasure. We'll talk to you same time, which is a different time, right. but same time earlier, tomorrow. Yeah. A little earlier. Right. You're up anyway. Thanks, Mike. That's right. Thank you. Now we go 